Hello, hello, hello. This is Fred, the agronomist and the farmer. And uh, we're back to class. We're back to our training site. We're back to learning. And um, as you can see, this is preparation. Preparation taking place or uh, preparation that has been done. And that is what I wanted uh, to share with you. Uh, mostly on the pre-planting uh, part on what you're supposed to do before you pre-plant or before you plant your seedlings or before you plant your seed. So this is how everything is supposed to be done. One, do your soil analysis. Know your soil. What do you need to know about your soil or what is supposed to be checked in your soil? Uh, because of the nature of the crop we do, they are very susceptible to different things. Among them is nutrition, uh, then uh, pathology, which is uh, diseases in the soil, uh, then uh, the pest, normally the nematode. So these are the things that you're supposed to do as a farmer uh, to make sure that you know them yeah, so that you can run away from them. Because when you meet them, the battle will not be very easy and uh, don't forget that uh, we are always growing a crop that is competitive in terms of pricing a good quality so you need to to work on this so that you can be able to grow the best crop so know your soil start from there before you prepare the land once you know your soil start your preparation start your preparation how do you start it dig your soil like it has been done. There are some farmers who have mechanized already. Others are using the manual way of digging. Do it and do a deep digging. For those who are going to elect beds like the ones behind me, do a deep digging. For those who are doing to do hydroponics, you don't do, need to do the, the soil analysis. You just need to get a clean as planting media. You don't need to lace your bed. You know how to do it better. In the next class, I'm going to share with you how it also in uh, hydroponics it's done. But now, dig well. This By digging well, it enables you to turn the soil because remember, the nutrient or the needed part of the soil is uh, in between 20 to 30 centimeters. So you are able to turn upside the nutrient in the previous crop, you are able to bring them up. The micronutrient are able to come to the surface to help the crop. Also, you easen on softer the soil for easy making of bed. That is the importance of digging and deep digging. Then from there, lace your beds very important as you can see uh, no no before listing the beds apply you can apply the manure then lace the beds after mixing the manure with the soil for those using the uh, mechanization you can use the rotavita mix the manure or raise the bed uh, apply the manure then uh, mix it how do you apply the manure the manure as you can see it's well applied uh, use as much manure as possible or as advised in the soil analysis resort. Manure is not poisonous. Manure is food to the crop. Manure is food to the soil. So uh, apply the manure on your beds. Mix it well and make your bed. Uh, for those who may be interested to know the size of the bed, the size of the bed in, uh, in most greenhouses is usually uh, 80 to 100 centimeters on the top. And the pathways, the ones that you see behind me, the pathways is supposed to be uh, the pathways is supposed to be around 50 centimeters, not more than 50 centimeters. In between 30 to 50 centimeters, not more than that because uh, don't waste a lot of space. There is no vehicle that is passing the way now, so make sure you have good walking path and not small and not too big. Flatten your bed well. Uh, make sure the irrigation is ready. We have not yet installed uh, the irrigation here, but uh, it's going to be installed for the sake of planting make watering and that will be the preparation or the pre preparation or pre planting preparation before you you plant make sure you subscribe to this channel because i'll be sharing more of this project and more about farming and any other content that you're interested in subscribe and let's go together bye